Most common question on this channel is what fonts I'm using, and I guess that's because most usually various Linux is shit crap fonts, so it's all about the difference between bad and good. In any case, I'm using Google Sans, and on this movie I'm gonna show you how you can easily get them, because they are not available under an open source license. Okay, so, Google fonts are available on the style sheets of every Google official site, and here and now I'm gonna use the Chromebook page to steal them. I'm gonna also use Firefox to perform the robbery, according to this comment and instructions. And so, let's go! Open Firefox Development Tools, and go to Network tab. If you see nothing there, just reload the page. Next, go to the CSS tab. But if you see nothing there, tick this box to disable the cache and reload the page with F5 or Ctrl R. Now, we see the Google Fonts family file from Google Fonts API domain, so just double click it to open the location. Here we can see various font families, and I'm going to scroll a little bit down. Right about here, to Google Sans Latin, and 700 weight which is basically the bold variant. Be patient, we're almost there. We just need to copy the URL link, and download the file. But before I will create a folder to keep everything tidy and clean, like a little girl. Well, we could obviously download all the font families at once, but something that's important and you may miss so far, is that we have WAF files that are not desktop compatible. But luckily for us, our good friends in Google have some WAF tools on GitHub. That are available in Fedora at least, under WAF tools package and I have those already installed. So next we can say, WAF2 decompress, in the name of our font. And that will create a TTF file we can use in our desktop. But for verification purposes only, we can open files app, and if we click the font we can confirm that everything worked as expected. Now considering the license, it may not be open source, but I don't believe that Google will hunt you down and skin you alive if you're gonna use their fonts on your personal desktop. And besides, everything is only made for to be changed. Remember a hundred years ago when women didn't have a right to vote, and everyone considered this the right thing? And then the women's suffrage led to world wars and nuclear accidents, climate change and pandemics, and aliens are on the way to conquer the earth. And yet we consider this legit. So perhaps such licenses on public products are actually illegal, but humanity needs another hundred years to realize it,